I'm Jennifer Hunter and I'm based in New York. Before I did Bookmore TV, I was struggling everywhere, every way possible. <laughs> so uh, anything that you can struggle with, I was struggling with it. And that's why I had to sign up. My background, I came from a theater background, a, a master's of fine arts, and thought that that's all you needed. Like, hey, I got my degree, I'm good to go. And struggled just with the business of acting or the business, the industry, I guess, not knowing how to take my talent and get it in front of the right people or, or just what to do with it. And me just having the training wasn't enough and struggled for years and years and years of kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall, hoping it would stick and just not getting anywhere and feeling like a, a what do you call it, on the treadmill, like a, a ferret. I get, I'm trying to think of the small creature that runs yep. on a wheel, but <laughs> that was me for years and years and years. But I still, you know, I moved to New York in 2001 and 9-11 happened and that just derailed a lot of things I thought I had going for me and just couldn't get the traction again and was throwing money at people and saying, oh yeah, I got you, I got you and still not going anywhere. And until I happened upon a friend's page who mentioned Christine, I was like, oh, she looked like me. And I feel her energy. I said, like, let me look a little closer and did a fast track because I wasn't sure. So let me see one time. And then I was like, okay, I have to work with this woman. Like, I just felt like I was going to get the tools that I finally needed. And that's how I feel about the course. I wish I, wish I could do 10 weeks. <laughs> but the five weeks was, was great because it's everything that I didn't get that I should have gotten, I feel like, in my, my um, theater program. You know, the training was great, but then how do I turn who I am into the business? Because that's what you're selling. And I just didn't know how to do that. I thought, you know, just my training was enough. So it was a long answer to the question, but I've been around kind of dipping my toe in the water for like 20 years. And I'm like, look, you need to either jump in and swim or get out. And so <laughs> that's kind of what brought me to book more TV. I'm ready to swim. When I signed up for the course, it was exactly what I needed. Like I couldn't have, I, I was just, I'm not gonna say surprised because I wouldn't have expected anything less from Christine <laughs> for with my first meeting, but just impressed with the detail, the content, the, it was easy with my busy lifestyle to be like, I'm committing to my Tuesday and Saturday, I'm listening and then uh, committing to following all my modules throughout the week so I was caught up by Saturday. I just felt like it just, I, I felt taken care of. So if I use the analogy of I'm a, a, a fitness trainer and I coach other coaches and I tell my coaches, your job is to take care of your athletes. Like whatever need they have, you should for see it before it comes up and be able to take care of it. And that's how I felt like Christine did. She was the coach I needed. Like. The modules were set up like everything I needed to know was there. And you're like left wondering, like, why didn't I know this before? And and then continue to have access to it. So as you know, I'm starting to do more auditions. Like, okay, let me go back. And what was that again? So I feel like that feature as well, having lifetime access to everything, is like phenomenal. It's like so worth so much more than what we actually paid for the program. So I, I can't rave enough about it. It's more than what I expected. And I, I, I guess that, but everything that I needed. I really enjoyed the branding exercise <laughs> because I was shocked about how I was reading. I told, I think the part that surprised me the most was that I came up as prostitute, I would have been hired as a prostitute and I think that I, I was a little upset about that because I thought like at least a stripper was a little scaled up from a prostitute, at least a stripper indoors, a prostitute outside. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? I was, <laughs> I was a little surprised by that, but it was really good because it helped me to work on my, what am I selling? How am I coming across? And I wasn't upset by it, but I was just like, man, I'm a prostitute. Um, <laughs> Lisa Stripper, but uh, but I like the branding exercise. I don't know why I'm hung up on that part. And the one person that said I would look like I was 60, but. <laughs> <for> the... <laughs>
I was like, okay. Maybe it was just like that, that sound. It wasn't like how I actually looked, but I sounded like somebody's mama. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you tell them hung up on the branding exercise. But uh, <laughs> the script, the, uh, what was the module on the tech actually that I felt so empowered because I think that's one of the places where I felt stuck not knowing what I was doing with the self taping and just all of the like the uh, editing I would just like tape stuff and send it and <laughs> not know how to cut things I just like hope for the best or keep retaping so that part the technical part even though it was very simple that's what I needed and now I really love that part like to be able to like take my clips, put it in there. I know I can go to iMovie and do my little thing. I, I got myself so uh, uh, excited about it. I'm trying to edit everything. My friend's going away. I said, like, ooh, I can make him a little video. I, <laughs> has nothing to do with uh, auditioning or self-taping, but just the feeling empowered now that there's something that I needed to learn how to do, but it pushed me to, to do it. Whereas I would just be like futzing around with it, I think still, or trying to hire somebody or trying to go to a studio, which we can't do now to, to do my self tape. Two things, I think Christina is extremely loving, caring, generous, but also gonna tell you how it is. Like I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you a hug, but you ain't right. Like you need to get it. <laughs> I love you. But what you did, <laughs> that's, not, that's not helpful. Um, so I, I, I feel like Christine is a mixture of everything that you need in a coach. You need somebody who's going to support you, but also um, show you how to grow, which in that growth, sometimes it's going to be uncomfortable, but that's the only way that you're going to grow. So by pointing out those things in a loving way, it's going to resonate if that's, that's how you respond, that's how I respond. To change, I need somebody that I know I've supported or developed that relationship with somebody, and then I'm more inclined to listen to what they want me to do and do it because I know it's in my best interest and that they care about me doing that. So I guess the imagery I see is you have like the little devil and the angel on both sides, so you got two Christines. <laughs> the one's like, you ain't right, oh, you're great. <laughs> and you need both. <laughs> If you are on the fence about whether or not to make a decision and you think that you have done everything you need to do, then why are you not where you wanna be? And that's the reason why you should invest, you should sign up for Book More TV. Have the training. I feel like I was I had, you know, great feedback from when I was performing, but this is like 20 years. I can't keep saying like, oh, well, my resume, my training, I'm not where I need to be. And now I feel like the only thing holding me back from being where I need to be is just not taking the shot. So I feel like I've been trained and taught how to take the shot and, you know, you just got to shoot it. And so if you're on the fence, shoot your shot. This is it <laughs> to get you where you need to go.